About four months ago, I found myself without a grinder at home. Up until that point, I'd been using various Baratza grinders, but I found myself with nothing, and I decided I should go shopping and try something out. Now, I decided that I did not want to go commercial. I wanted to keep a domestic-built grinder at home, because selling coffee to people who brew it at home, I want to know what it's like to brew the coffee that we roast, and to brew at home every day with domestic equipment. So I had a look around and I picked this grinder and I've been using it now for about four months and I figure that's long enough to have used every single day to give you an honest review and an opinion about it. Now I bought this grinder and I paid for it with my own money. It wasn't given to me, I didn't get any special discounts. However, I should add that since I've had it, I have received some Wilford products for free. It's up to you if you think my review is biased as a result. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how the grinder works and what I like and what I don't like about the grinder. The way the grinder works is really pretty simple. Bean hopper on the top, pour your beans in, and the hopper itself is your grind adjustment. So twist, rotate the hopper, it clicks to give you different grind settings from coarse to fine, and there are suggestions on the side like French press, filter coffee, or AeroPress. They're pretty accurate. Now, this thing that I do like is on the side here, there's a timer separate from the start-stop button. Now, in some grinders, like the lower-end Baratza grinders, you have a twist, timer, on, off, all-in-one type thing. I don't love that. Uh, what I do like here is you set your time, and then it's one separate button to start and stop. What this means is you could fill your hopper with beans, and then use the timer mechanism as a way to dose coffee out in the morning, but I would not recommend that. For me, I always want to keep my coffee stored, sealed properly when I'm using it. And secondly, I want to be able to chop and change different coffees. And if I have a hopper full of coffee, that's not very convenient. So from a quality and kind of convenience for me factor, I would never choose to use the grinder that way. But if you only ever brew one type of coffee and you want the easiest life possible, then I guess you could just use this to grind, work out what say 30 grams of coffee is in terms of 20 seconds or 25 seconds of grinding, and you're done. begin grinding and it grinds into the little grounds collection tray here. Now this thing, if I'm honest, is one of the weak points of the grinder. The shape is kind of weird um, and there is certainly an issue with static. Now static happens with every domestic coffee grinder. When you grind the coffee there's quite a lot of static in the collection bin. I've never seen that be any different with any grinder but it's certainly noticeable here. And I also find this thing a little bit difficult to pour the ground coffee out of, just because of its shape. I'm not really sure how or where I'm supposed to pour it. You'd think this little bit here, the little lip at the bottom, but I, I don't love that. So for me, the design of this is kind of one of the weak points of the grinder. Now. This thing was 105 pounds, and that for me is way, way cheaper than any comparable grinder in terms of grind quality and build quality. So I think this thing is fantastic value for money. It, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels pretty well built, it grinds pretty well. It is, when it comes to build, probably a little bit louder than some of the Baratzas up to you if noise is a problem for you in the mornings or if you've ever had to hold a tea towel over the top of the grinder to try and be a little bit quieter while someone is sleeping. Not a huge problem, but for me, definitely noticeably louder than other grinders of the same kind of price point. Final point to make, and that's a big negative for some people, but really not for me, this thing does not grind for espresso. It doesn't grind fine enough, and it doesn't have the level of control necessary to be a good domestic espresso grinder. Now for me, that's never gonna be a problem because I don't really wanna make espresso at home. Totally a preference thing, but for me, espresso is kind of a hobby and not one that I wanna bring home. I do enough coffee for a living, I'd like some other hobbies outside of work. So for me, Filter coffee at home is what I want to brew every day. I've been using this thing with a uh, Mocha Master with a Technovolm for quite a long time, and then more recently with the Wilfer Brewer that I was given, and I've been having pretty great results. 
in terms of grind quality, it's not gonna match a commercial grinder. You know, it's not gonna match an EK43 or anything of that ilk even close. However, even though I've experimented with sifting, removing some fines, removing some boulders, by and large, I'm certainly pretty happy with the brews that I'm getting at home. So for me, grind quality wise, it's not exceptional, but for 105 pounds, my expectations were surpassed. In summary, this thing is a great little grinder. It is great value for money, super easy to use. The grind guidance is pretty good. And uh, I have really, really enjoyed using it. Let me know down below if you wanna see more reviews here. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like about this review. I'm interested in your feedback. Really appreciate any insights you have. For me, I get to play with a lot of different equipment and it's kind of fun to get to share it with people and share my experiences with it. You can subscribe over there too. Just like there, just push the subscribe button. If you want to, I mean, you don't, you don't have to, but it would be nice.